University dormitory in Latvia. If you wonder what the rooms look like, how expensive they are and what facilities are available for students, make sure to watch this video till the very end. I will show you my room where I've been living for more than three years. And for those who don't know me, uh, my name is Anna and I've been living in Latvia for about three and a half years. I've been studying, I've been doing my bachelor's there. If you're interested in how my studies were going, stuff like that, make sure to check other videos in this playlist. The first thing to remember is that I'll be talking about Vanspos University. The dormitory of this university can differ because actually even though the dormitory and the university are in the same building, the companies are different so the dormitory doesn't belong to the university if you need a dormitory well of course university will help you with that but most of the time you are going to deal with it on your own uh, so let's see my room first we have this area where there is a wardrobe where we put our clothes and our shoes here are some shelves that i actually put uh, down. Yeah, it was given by the university. The armchair is ours. There is like a kitchen area, but actually a kitchen is in the corridor, so it's like a self-made kitchen. So that's where we sleep. And that's my working space. I put some posters on the walls, but actually it's not really permitted. But they let me anyway. The best thing about this room is of course the view because we could see the whole city, the sea even, so it's actually amazing. I won't show you this, the bathroom, but there's just shower, toilet, a sink, it's just enormous, but the space is not filled. So here's the kitchen, we have two kitchens per floor, they are shared. Here we have some tables, no one actually uses them that often. Then we have a stove. Uh, actually two of them, a sink and again a nice view from, from this room. Now in the kitchen there is also a microwave, uh, they put it there recently. Also in the dorms on the sixth floor we have uh, this cafe called Panorama, the food there is cheap and well quite good, so you can also go have lunch there. Also some angry posters about cleaning. My room is like a studio because I was living with my husband. In the days when the dormitory is full, people who can actually get those rooms, uh, those are like families or partners who live together. But in the days when the dormitory is half empty, well, actually the administration doesn't care who is going to live there. So if you live there with your friend, so it shouldn't be any problem at all. The thing is that this room is actually more expensive. If you, for example, choose a room that is like half size of my room, then you would pay approximately 70, 80 euros per month for one person, but somebody is going to live with you together in this room. But for this bigger room, we paid uh, 186 euros for the room. Another thing that was actually annoying is that there wasn't a refrigerator, but if you move into a smaller room, there is actually a refrigerator, not in all of them, but you can rent the refrigerator. It costs around, well, now maybe like seven, eight euros per month. So keep it in mind that this thing can also be there. A good thing about these dormitories that there is a free Wi-Fi, but the bad thing about this is that in different parts of the dormitory Wi-Fi works differently. I was lucky now because in my room the Wi-Fi worked well, but I know my groupmates and other students who really struggled with the Wi-Fi during, for example, online lectures, uh, they froze, they had a bad internet connection and stuff, so it really depends how lucky you'll be. Another thing that I loved about that university is that there is actually student lounge uh, which is like an interactive room there are different zones so the first zone is that stage like a small stage where you can organize something or somebody from the university can actually organize something but I think that if you want to organize something there I think you should ask administration about that because I haven't done it but I think that it's actually possible then I love this uh, kitchen area you can actually have a cup of tea or coffee there there's really lots of room so you can have like a lunch or dinner. Well, you can't actually drink some alcohol there, which is clear, but some students do and that's not good because there are cameras over there and you'll just be, you know, 
uh, shouted at, <laughs> most probably. Another good part of this room is that there are actually some uh, some activities to do, for example, pool for everybody and table tennis, which is amazing. I spent some quite some time there with my group mates, with my husband, we were chilling, and also in that stage uh, area, you can uh, you you can bring your laptop, and there will be a big screen where you can actually watch something, for example, a movie. So you can have a movie night now. This room for like is open 24/7, but like after 11, of course, you should behave quietly. Another thing about the laundry. Laundry is downstairs. You actually should buy tokens about like two up to four euros for one washing machine, one dryer for four hours, which is okay. But again, for example, before we just paid two euros for four hours and two washing machine and two dryers. So yeah, prices grow. In this room, I've spent brilliant three years. I enjoyed it a lot because we had a really amazing view in the room and it was big enough with the private bathroom. The room was nice, my life there was also nice. So let me know in the comments below if you're actually going to Vance Post University to study. I can share my opinion about studies there and maybe recommend something if you need it. So feel free to contact me on Instagram or here in the comments. See you soon!